Welcome to the ninth edition of the Multi Hall Party. It's Wednesday, July the 22nd, windy afternoon here in Dance Poland, and we are on board the Surrey Baby Nomad. The Surrey Baby Nomad is an 80 foot sail catamaran, and as her name indicates, she was tailor made for basically worldwide cruising. And we want to take a closer look today at the Surrey Baby Nomad, and for this, we are joined today. By project manager Caro Stajak. Hello, Caro. Hello, nice to meet you. And Caro will be happy to, uh, yeah, to give us an insight into the Surrey Baby Nomad and all the cool features on board. And we're starting our visit here on the flybridge of the yacht. So, Caro, can you tell us about the main features of the flybridge on Nomad? So, we should start with the jacuzzi, which is behind us. It's uh, sunroof made, designed for four person. Uh, we have uh, toolbox for water toys, as uh, the owner decided to have plenty of them. We have a big bar with the sink, uh, refrigerator and a noise maker. Of course, we have an electrical grill. Uh, we have two helm stations with very comfortable seats. Uh, here we will be the two swinging chairs for the children. And as you can see, we have here a house-made carbon, uh, carbon structure uh, last and uh, we there's an in-room working system. Yes, it's uh, pretty proud you can on the, on the series of the So now we don't have enough time for it here in the jacuzzi. I think uh, we want to take a look at the aft cockpit right now which is basically, I think, one of the guests' favorite spots on board. So what people usually love about the stern cockpit uh, of the Serving 80 is how vast it is. It is one of the people's favorite spots because it's well protected from sun, from wind. So people spend a lot of time here and on the camera, and this is a huge asset because we have like close to 12 meters of beam and the cockpit spreads onto the entire beam. Can you tell us about the, the app cockpit on, on the Nomad? Yeah, we have a uh, back-to-back -back sofa with a uh, beautiful wooden table with the center cord stop. Uh, here we have also the second bar on the yacht next to it. We have sink and refrigerator and ice maker. We have full double backrest for the sun pump and as you can see on the app we have a beautiful very big William Diesel Jet 505 for 7 person and uh, what we can show you but it is uh, here there is two, two 320 horsepower Volvo engines and in one of the engine rooms we have huge toolbox for uh, for the owner and for the Okay, one of the lovely features of the app on the circuit page is how smoothly it transitions into the main salon. Let's have a look. You can hear inside, you know, up to the starboard, you have a very big lounging sofa. Look to the other side here, the dining table for all the guests. The dining table is up and down and and coffee table option so it can move back and forth depending on the okay so it's, it's height adjustable and modular and, and right now we're in the, in the bow part of uh, the, the main salon can you tell us what's uh, what's going on here and here we have of course uh, so on every sunrise we have a uh, very nice home station for the captain with two very comfortable seats uh, we have Raymarine uh, uh, system here, also the yacht is equipped with the cameras, also one of them is a pier which we can, which we can use. Here is the bubble screen for the yacht management and uh, on the right there is uh, the speech pump system and uh, all the mobile panels. Okay, and I, I can see some kitchen appliances here, is this the yacht's main galley? No, no, this is the smaller galley. Uh, the owners wanted to have a small place to prepare uh, some snacks and then warm food upstairs. But the main galley is downstairs in the, on the port side, which we will see later. And so, yeah, we've seen this little uh, on our way, uh, nice personal touch here. 
yeah, the owners wanted uh, to have some spot for their dogs. They have two small dogs and they asked whether we can prepare something. So our designer, Aneta, has uh, made such a project and they loved it. So yeah. we have also here have the stove, the oven, and the washing machine and the sink. Here is also a wine cooler and double fridge. Okay, and from here I saw that the Nomad has not one but two jet skis. Uh, to the bow. Can we have a look at the bow terrace? Maybe? Yeah. We have here two Yamaha jet skis, and as the owner wanted, we have both of them for the whole family. Uh, as you can see in the back, uh, one of them there is a crane, it's electrical up and down, so you can launch the jet skis from both sides of the hook. Uh, what's interesting, uh, we have also here a compartment for the SCABA selling cylinders and the compressor. And as the owners want to go for the all around the boat, you all around the world trip, uh, and they are eco friendly, they ask us to repair a waste dump that will not be smelled. So, we have a cooling dark here. See? <clears throat> Stop protected so they can store all the garbage here. It's the cooling system, and after all, you can wash it. So it's designed especially for them. Okay, so I can see that on Nomad, this, this bow terrace is not only for, for lounging, but basically very practical space. Okay, let's go back into the base lounge. So, what's nice about the uh, Nomad's layout is I think one of the halls basically is almost entirely dedicated to the owner and family, uh, while the other hall is, is basically for the crew, for the yeah. captain. Exactly. Uh, so what we're going to do right now, uh, we're going to have a look at the starboard hole, which is the, well, it's the owner's hole. Yeah. There are three cabins on the starboard hole. The front one is for the daughter, the center, the main cabin is for the owners, and on the up there is also another cabin for their son. But I'm taking a guess that this, this must be uh, the kid's cabin, right? Yeah. Uh, this is their daughter, daughter cabin. Uh, as always, we were asked to prepare something specially for, for the kids. We asked what they like. And uh, here is the banquet because uh, they wanted to have guests. So here is the uh, double bed for the children. And here we have a bunk bed so it can fold. So here, comfortable, there is space for like three children. Here is a desk for schoolwork as they will be long without the without the school but the teacher will come with them for this trip. Here we have the king's bed with the electrical up and down system and here as you can see we have a beautiful balcony. We have to take a look at the, the private drop down balcony. Wow, such a sweet feature of the Sun Reef 80. It must be very nice to have breakfast here with your own family. Okay, it's kind of windy, so we'll go back inside. Maybe we'll use the opportunity to show the uh, walking dressing here as well. Yeah, it's also custom made, uh, but as you can see, it's very big for a yacht. So you can store everything you need for a long trip. Okay, so now on our way uh, to the next cabin, I think we're going to have a look at the, the bathroom as well. Yeah, here's a beautiful bathroom with the two sinks. We have a big shower and there is a hammam option. So if you like sauna, this is the option for you. Okay, and if I'm not mistaken, there's another kid's cabin. This is the son's cabin. As you can see, this is the upper bed for, for, for the boy. Here we have a desk, which can be changed into the additional bed for, for guests if they come. Okay. 
Okay, so we're back in the main salon and we're going to take a look at the port hall this time. So we had a look at one of the two galleys, like a secondary galley on uh, the main deck, but we'll take a look right now at the main galley on board. Yeah, here we are in the main galley. All the appliances are from the Miele, so very good quality. We have uh, industrial washing machine, washing dryer, a big fridge, which we can open. Freezer is downstairs. Here we have machine washer and dryer. Place. And here I will not show you that, but there is a table, hold up a table that's coming. So this transforms this. into a, a crew mess, let's say. Okay. Yeah. And also, I, I'm, uh, you know, we're all aware that storage is key. So is there extra storage below decks? Yeah, there is a lot of the owner told us I need to have as much storage as possible. So almost under every hatch we have here, uh, we have additional shelves, which I can show you save the space it's on the right side we have shelves on the left with the storage box that will, will arrive soon uh, here we have additional fridge and this uh, stainless steel is the trash compactor to save some space in the waste dump so yeah all of this is very good especially if you're going around the world right yes of course okay, and i can see that the galley here connects with the crew port is that correct yes it is we have two bunk beds here for the crew And of course, there are both four peaks that are uh, reachable from outside, are always also prepared to invite the crew. So this yacht can have six crew members. Oh, okay. Good. And do you want to show us the, uh, the captain's cabin? Yeah, it's in the aft, so also all the area is, uh, is one place for the crew. With the big bed. Uh, and also we have a TV here and and here is the Raymarine additional screen for the captain. Okay, so we had a good look, I think a fairly good look at the Sarit uh, 80 Nomad and thanks to our, uh, our colleague Carol here. Thank you so much Carol for uh, joining me for this. It was today. nice to meet you. Yeah, in the meantime, by some miracle, and I generally don't know how, but I had the time to go downstairs, put the kettle on and actually prepare some fresh tea for you because there's no multi hole talks without tea. So Carol, there's your mug of tea. Thank you. And uh, cheers everyone. Thank you so much cheers. for joining us and see you next time on multi hole talks. See you, bye.